गाइस डालिया हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डालियाज वर्ल्ड होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव अपलोडेड द अनबॉक्सिंग ऑफ मॉफी रिचर्ड आईकॉन डी एल एक्स फूड प्रोसेसर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन शो यू अ डेमो ऑन दिस फूड प्रोसेसर सो फ्रेंड्स डू यू रियली थिंक यू रिक्वायर अ फूड प्रोसेसर एट होम देन चेक दिस वीडियो वेर इन आई विल बी शोइंग यू वॉट ऑल यू कैन डू विद अ फूड प्रोसेसर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट I have a friend to operate the food processor and I will be recording it so that you can get the proper view on all the functions. Now first uh, we will be making chapati dough from atta. So for that you require parts like spindle, processor bowl, the processor lead and the kneading blade. So once you know the measurement I think it becomes easy. and uh, this is the cup we have used i have taken 2 cup of atta and 1 cup of water now first you need to grease the processing bowl with normal cooking oil so that the dough doesn't stick to the bowl so next we will place the processor bowl on the splinter and fix it by just turning it in a clockwise and it is locked and then the blade and we'll put the atta and close the lid it is locked and now we will put the power supply on and now keeping it in speed 1 we will be adding water slowly into the atta So this is the actual noise it creates while kneading. It's not much I can bear it because you can see how quickly the dough is formed. It's it forms in just a minute or two. So now we will turn off the switch and uh check it requires more water. I'll be adding a teaspoon or two and then pulse it for a couple of time. I'll switch it off now and see how perfectly it has come out. nothing is sticking to the sides i'll take off the blade it doesn't stick to your hand it shows that it's kneaded to a right consistency i think this is the best function of a food processor normally food processor is useful when a large quantity of food is needed to be processed but i think kneading function it can be used as a daily function See, it saves a lot of time. It's lot less messy, and your dough is ready. Wow! Look at this. Uh, it is so soft, and I am actually happy with this function. So next is a citral juicer. Uh, here are the parts required, like spindle, processor bowl, uh, citrus filter, citrus cone, and fruit from which we will be extracting the juice. So first goes the splinter and then the processor bowl. Now turn it into a clockwise direction and it is locked. So when you lock you hear a tuck sound that is what I feel here when I myself use a processor. Uh, remember it should go very smooth while locking. I always keep the handle towards the right side of the bowl. Also you will notice that there is a lock on all the equipments. uh i'm in mean all the parts and if the parts are not locked properly then the processor will not start and that's one of the safety feature of this machine so now uh in goes the lock of the citrus filter into the processor bowl handle and now we will place a citrus cone just fix it and we will just start and check Now we will take the fruit and place it on the cone. So let's use the speed one function here. That's it. You can see the juice. the filter has seeds and fiber too 
yes it doesn't filter all the fiber but some fiber goes into the juice which actually i feel uh, it's more healthy to have a little fiber in the juice now remember to turn off the switch before removing all the parts so this is the amount of juice extracted from two oranges mm, wow i must say it's very fresh so now friends you can give fresh juice to your family and loved ones awesome taste and it's thick too and yes i'm happy with this function too next is the chopping of onions Again you need the same things like a splinter and processor bowl. Now for chopping onion you require chopping blade, processor lead, foot pusher and spatula if required to scrape off the onions. Now here the onions are cleaned and cut into four pieces so that the processor is able to chop it effectively. So keep the pieces small like one onion I have cut into four parts. Now follow the same method for placing the parts and then we'll put the blade and add onion and lock the lid and put on the food processor. If you want you can add onion from top of the lid. Now for this process you can use pulse or speed one. So let's pulse it uh, first and see how evenly it is chopped. Now I will open and check see how finely it is chopped. So friends you can finally chop large quantity of onion in a minute and that also without losing tears oh my god such a relief and if you want you can chop it further very very fine and you know friends i have noticed one more thing that the food i prepared has become more tastier when i use this chopped onions hmm i wonder why now next is the grating function, same process you have to place a blade uh, on the splinter and put the lead and we'll put the carrot using speed 1, see how fast it is grated in a second. So uh, making gajar halwa is so quick and easy, you can use potatoes for chiura making or you can grate cheese or veggies for making paratha, so many things you can do with this one blade. Now next I will be showing you uh, how to grate dry coconut. I will be showing you uh, grating on both the sides. This blade will give you fine powder type coconut shredding. See the wastage. But uh, that's fine you can reuse this uh, wastage in making gravies or any other stuff. It won't go waste. Now I will use the other side where uh, we have uh, grated the carrot. See in a second the job is done look at this it's amazing very very useful function i must say if this is done manually it takes so much of time and even your hands will literally pain but here it's just in a seconds now let's see the next function for making french fries just place a blade and cover the lid i've dropped a potato so quick wow see how superb the cut is sorry there is some dry coconut stick to the potatoes <laughs> so it's gonna be coconut potato french fries oh i just invented a new recipe mm, not bad okay let's move quickly to the next that is a slicing blade there are seven levels in this blade so i'm gonna quickly show you the slicing of carrot in different level by adjusting the blade level so you will come to know the thickness see this is level 1 very thin again I have changed the blade to level 2 friends don't forget to turn off the power while removing the parts so uh, now I have finished with all the levels you can see here the thickness of each level this is level 1 see how thin it is and uh, for salad i guess level 3 and 4 is best that is uh, i mean for onion and tomatoes and for carrot i will go for second or third level now the last one is centrifugal juicer uh, i had a problem with this operation and then i complained and i got it replaced uh, it was very shaky while juicing and scary too because while juicing the machine actually moved from left to right on my kitchen tile 
but uh, after replacing uh, it's like okay types now so now we'll start now I'm going to drop some apple I just use speed one here see how it shakes but this is okay so this is the juice extracted from two apple and this is a pulp left next I'm going to use one big carrot I have slit into two So this is the juice extracted and the pulp. The taste of the juice is really good. And friends there are other functions like using the grinding jar and all. I haven't shown here as the video is going to be very lengthy then. But it's very easy like a regular function like we do it with a normal grinding machine. Overall, I must say friends, I'm happy with this processor. It has saved my lot of time whether it is kneading or whether it is chopping onions or whether it is slicing uh, or making juice. I'm really happy with it and uh, there is little care need to be taken while operating this machine. If you increase the quantity of vegetables, it will shake. Uh, so do not overfill the machine and uh, sometimes it gives a smoky smell so uh, I try to uh, not to run the machine for a longer time now the knob is uh, very slippery uh, so uh, if your hands are wet uh, it will be difficult for you to adjust the levels so keep your hand dry while touching the knob and uh, keep a, a napkin or a tissue handy around Next is uh, I try to hold the machine while operating because sometimes it shakes. Now the cleaning part, uh, yes it's very easy uh, if you clean it immediately after the use. I normally don't touch the parts while cleaning uh, as it's very sharp so I use a long brush which we uh, use for cleaning the water bottles and while cleaning um, with the brush I keep the water running so all the wastage will be easily removed along with the flow of water and uh, last but not the least read all the instructions given in the manual before operating so uh, that's it my dear lovely friends subscribers and viewers uh, it was really tough editing and making this video hope this video was useful and all your doubts are clear and hey friends don't forget to like this video and if you are new to my channel Please do not forget to subscribe as I make interesting video on cooking, craft, places I traveled and things I purchased. So guys till then stay fit and healthy, take care of yourself and others. See you soon.